Hello, in this Java programming video, we are going to look at file stream and we're going to more specifically look at the byte stream. So, we're going to load a file in, we're going to save to a file as well. But it's just going to be using a simple byte stream. We'll look at more advanced stuff like standard and character streams in a separate video. So, feel free to take a look at them. So, first of all, we need to have an import. And this is going to be importing java.io, .io, asterisk, like so. And what we will also need is to throws io exception. We will need this to prevent any errors. And what we're going to do over the course of the next few videos, the best done within like a try catch block. That's going to be covered in a separate section in this series. So once you've done the input output stuff, the file IO section, which is what we're doing right now. Have a look at the try catch the exception section, then combine them together. So it just helps prevent any errors or like handle any errors and prevents it from crashing the application. So provide some default behavior. So we're going to do file input stream input equals no. Okay, so this is what we're going to be using to load our file in. And we're going to do input equals new file input stream, like so. And what we're going to do is just specify the file name. So file input.txt. And I've already got this file created. So you'll want this where your sonar system.class file is. So this is your compiled you know application so if you go to your workspace your project so the bin so once we actually run it in the in the clips or if you compile it using something else maybe the terminal this is where the thing would appear and you want to place your file right here at the moment it's empty we'll add some content to it very soon so once you've done that we want to be able to you know go over the content print it out so we're going to say int number I'm gonna say while so we're gonna we, we so the byte stream we read it in every character in our file as a number and you'll be as the ASCII number for it. So while number equals input dot read doesn't equal negative one. When it equals negative one, we're at the end of the file basically. And we are just going to do a system dot out dot println. And what we're going to do now is system dot dot println. And in here, we're going to specify the number. So save that. And if we run it, oh, we get an error. No such file or directory. Okay, the, that is fine. It doesn't exist, you know, here. Um, but you will when we actually run it via the console. So if we do chain directory to this, right, like so. Now if we do Java, sonar system, we don't need to say dot class. It's empty because we haven't actually put anything in there. If we put in hello world, and I'm actually going to put an A at the end, just because you know we know that uppercase A is the ASCII equivalent of 65. So if I save that, run this again, and okay, what exactly happened? It seemed like he was trying to do something. Okay, so let's just you know go through the code. So we're doing it. Input new file stream file input.txt. That's fine. In number. So while number. When we do equal to input dot read is not equal to negative one. The system dot ah, I haven't actually put anything in here. I thought I did. Weird. So if we run it again, we get all the values and the last value, which is a a character uppercase a is sixty five. That's how you read stuff using the byte stream. To write stuff, it's really simple. So if we do, we'll do file output stream and we we'll call this output equals null and now 
to output, we just do like output equals new file output stream. And we specify the file. I'm going to say awesome.txt. And now we just do out.write. So what we're going to write and output, sorry. Output and we'll write 65, for example. So if we were to run this and Let's actually run this again. The file has been created because the it didn't you know hit the error on the file input stream. So we printed all this. And if we go to awesome.txt, even though we put 65, the ASCII equivalent is uppercase A. Hey. So that's it for file input and output using the byte stream. Like I said, we'll cover standard stream, we'll cover case stream, we'll cover all the really cool stuff. As an extra task. I want you to try and figure out how you can, let's say, print out your name, or not print your name out, write your name to a file. And so let me just give you a little help. So if I were to put, let's say, 66 here now, and if I were to run this, as you can see, another dot write method call would just put that particular character at the end of that file. You can have obviously use a space character if you want or a tab character to help format it. Feel free to do that as well. But try and print your name. Not sorry, I keep saying print because we're using print so much. Try putting your name, saving it into a text file. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome Java video.